I have nothing but wonderful fond memories of uh, the projects that led to the successful recording of the uh, Brahms and Debussy um, Bartok uh, album. Uh, David Abel and Julie Steinberg had become dear friends by then. Uh, I had first met, uh, met them at San Francisco Conservatory and we had agreed to do a recording of piano and violin, which, uh, which we did at uh, Mills College Concert Hall in, uh, in Oakland, California. Uh, for that recording, which was released previously on Wilson Audio, uh, we uh, have the, the work of uh, Beethoven and uh, Inesco. And that al album was extremely well received, and it still is one of my all-time favorites. For that album, we used our modified uh, Revox A77 and the modified Vacuum 2 microphone preamplifier. We had everything working in our favor. We knew the hall. We knew exactly where to place the Homburg Steinway piano so that it was voiced properly for that stage. We had our Wilson Audio Tiny Tot monitor speakers uh, with us. We had the Sheps microphones, which we're familiar with, and we had a new, couple of new things. One was uh, the Ultramaster. And the Ultramaster, after going through a long teething process, because you've got to remember that was a one-of-a-kind complex piece of equipment. Most people that look at it will see the Studer A80 transport and think, oh, a Studer. Well, they don't realize that that Studer, yes, it is a Studer transport, but the record head is custom made on it. The record and playback electronics, uh, all custom designed and built by John Curl. Very, very high performance. Uh, it gave us about an octave more high frequency extension than the Revox A77. You don't hear that as a brighter sound, you just hear it as a more open sound, a more spacious sound. The uh, bass response on it extends down lower than the Revox. You don't notice that so much on this recording because that's not the type of music this is. However, Mills College is located uh, just west of Interstate 580 and there are times when you can hear traffic noise which does come through in the low frequencies. There's no free lunch. <laughs> uh, and so everything went beautifully and smoothly with that recording. The music is very significant music the playing is masterful. There's just no other word for it. There are few albums that I've heard as many times as I've heard the Abel Steinberg albums, and which for years, no decades, have given me pleasure. Uh, it's a remarkable album. So the Ultramaster, that was that was not the first album that we did with the Ultramaster, but by the time we did this one, I was comfortable working with that machine, and I could extract the maximum performance from it. So it's an album that has won awards. Uh, it's a masterpiece of performance and sound.